This is a uh, look at using Moxie data on zero pace training software. So Moxie data has been downloaded using a Moxie app and I'm going to open up the zero pace training log. This is a offline uh, training diary. So it's not like Peripedal where you can have a live view of your data. Uh, you need to download the data off your Moxie device and then you can import it into zero pace. I'll give you a quick overview of the features on uh, Zero Pace. So this is a calendar page where you can look at individual training sessions. You've then got a um, your, the same sessions, but in the list view, you've got a training chart, which gives you the hours that you've completed. You can look at individual uh, training sessions or the types of sessions, how many hours you've done in that. And then what we are more interested in is a heart rate graph where we'll be looking at the uh, mox moxie graph so we go back to the training training calendar and we import our moxie data what you need to do is navigate to where you have saved your moxie data i've created my own moxie file uh, make sure at the bottom of the drop down list you have uh, selected uh, the type of file, in this case Moxie Monitor file. Select a file you want to import and open. And there you see the blank file is a Moxie file. Click on that date, click again to highlight the exercise and here you can select a name for it. I like to call the Moxie files Moxie. Save and close and save and close. Right, so there it is, and now we're going to look at it in the heart rate graph. What you'll need to do is, on the left here, select the file. So there's Moxie, and there it is. Just so that the page is less cluttered, I'm going to over close some windows, so the left panel I'm going to close, and the top one as well. So now we've got a nice free space. On the left hand side, you've got SMO2. And this is represented by a green line. And the right side, you've got THB represented by the brown line. If you want to zoom in to a specific part of the graph, you can ho you hold down your mouse key and, and draw a box over the area. And that, then you can zoom in. To get out of that, press this. You can also alternatively, down here, zoom in like that. And then with these arrows, top or bottom, left or right, scroll up or down, and come out of that. Oh, no, that's what. Nice feature of Zero Pace is that you can add notes on your graph. So I know from looking at my heart rate data that this part here, I, I, um, ended my session. This was actual hill run and this was at the top of a mountain and this was running down, down, back down again. So I can over here right click, add a note if I want to and say top of the can have another note of actual session started there. So you can add a note wherever you want to in the picture. Okay. I'm going to get the information bars back again. At the top here, you've got some options as well. <clears throat> On export, you've got some options for exporting. So if I press JPEG, the zero pace will take a screenshot of your graph. And you can then email that to somebody if you needed to. On heart rate view options, you've got a grid access, if you wanted that and you've also got smoothing you turn smoothing off it shows every single data point on the graph i like to keep smoothing on just keeps things a little bit easier on the eye to look at and that is pretty much the overview of using moxie data and zero pace what i'll do now is i'll give you a few tips because it, it can sometimes uh, be a few small problems that you could run into Okay, the first thing I'll show you is if you think if your 
Moxie file is on the wrong date. You, so let's say you, you thought you did your session on the 14th of January and you imported your file and suddenly it appears in January 1 and, and now you need to move it. Double click and right click on the Moxie file, move to, and then you can select the new date that you want to move it to. And there you see it moves it. Okay. Why? your moxie file might occasionally appear in the wrong place is because your device is not synced to the PC time so that this date here is completely wrong okay so make sure that the device is always synced if you imported your uh, moxie file and you, it's not apparent where it is on the calendar yeah then go to where you had saved your moxie file open it up with either text editor or notepad and look at the date in this case the first of the first so then all you've got to do is go to the first of the first and that's where that file was before okay one more thing that you could run into and i'll can import a second file to show you what would happen so i want to import this one and there the file is and if we go to the heart rate zone and view this file, you can see big flat line. This part of exercise, it stopped there, and then there was a long time, and then suddenly somewhere, probably before you connected to your computer, you might have accidentally turned your Moxie on, and it created another data point. Um, to avoid this from happening, and it is always good practice, just before you import the file, to open a CSV file, either open it up in a text editor or notepad as I mentioned before, and scroll down to the bottom and look at the times. So you've got your date on this side and then you've got your time on this side. Where there's a big jump, that is where Moxie created an extra data file. So if you, or extra data point rather. So if you delete this last line, where this big jump is, and it should be fine. So if you were to import that again, or if you were to delete this, this file and then import that file again, then it should show correctly and it will look like that. If you didn't want to go through all of that, what you could simply do was simply just highlight that and zoom in as well. But to avoid the file from looking like this it's better to just before you import it just just to look at there's no extra data points and that is everything you need to know into how to use moxie uh, files in zero pace